I'm Kayla Barron, a mission specialist. Hi, I'm ESA astronaut Matthias Mauder. I would be mission specialist. My name is Tom Marshburn. I'm the pilot. I'm Raja Chari, the commander of the NASA SpaceX Crew-3 mission to the International Space Station. So the Crew-3 mission is on the NASA SpaceX commercial space vehicle to the International Space Station. We will be working on the International Space Station for around six months, doing lots of experiments, lots of science. And Crew Dragon is one of our newest ways to get there. Um, there have been Soyuzes that have flown to the International Space Station with Crew. The Space Shuttle flew to the International Space Station. And now the Crew Dragon is taking human beings to the International Space Station. So we've partnered with SpaceX in the commercial crew program. They design, build, and operate these vehicles that take us, transport us to the International Space Station so that we can contribute to the amazing work that we're doing up there. Yeah, you know, it's, it's exciting to fly on a new spaceship for sure, and a newly designed, a new design of a spaceship. But I'm looking forward more to flying with three people that haven't flown in space before. This is a very unique crew. They are incredibly operationally savvy already. So what I try to do is, if there's any gaps in their knowledge of how they're going to feel, how they're going to operate, what is the zero gravity going to be like, how that might challenge our expectations for what we can get done. So you really feel like you've become a resident of space, a resident of zero G. And you start to feel like you're getting an idea of how this works. Every day is a long series of problem solving. You gotta figure out where to put your pencil, where to put your drink if you have it. So maybe 10,000 times a day, you're solving little problems like this. And when that becomes fluid, then you really feel like you can be efficient and uh, get a lot of work done. And there's a lot of work to get done on the space station right now. We spend a lot of our time training in Dragon because that's a really dynamic phase of the mission, but it's, it's just such a tiny fraction. The whole point is going to the space station and doing some incredible work up there. So our time on the space station is spent, one, keeping the space station healthy. Uh, it's been up there for 20 years. There's a lot of systems that need maintenance and upgrades and operators there to keep them working well, but we also do some incredible science. Uh, the space station is a national laboratory orbiting around the Earth, and it's a really, really unique environment. Environment. Once we arrive on the International Space Station, we will run a lot of experiments. I'm a material science engineer, and so my focus will be lots of experiments in the material science domain, but also life sciences will be very important. There's all kinds of research going on on a daily basis that lead to just fundamental changes in the way we understand how our world works. That will definitely be the eyes, ears, hands, and the actuator for the experiments that help lead to the science, the discoveries that can push our species further, both beyond the planet and just understand and, and operate on our Earth even better. One of the great legacies of the space station is not just going to be the science, but very importantly, the international cooperation. This is one of the first, certainly today's uh, perhaps most prominent, international cooperation for exploration. It's not for survival, it's not for competition in the marketplace, it is for just exploration. I think we're now about to enter a new era of human spaceflight. In the past, we astronauts flew to the International Space Station to do purely science. Now the station will become more and more commercial. There are commercial experiments on one side, but there are also commercial astronauts who come up to run maybe their own science programs, but also to enjoy just being up in space, to experience space, and to convey this message, the fascination of 